Hello there, thank you for tuning in to check it out videos. My name is Isaac Check, and for today's unboxing, we have got a box that's kind of wet. That's because I've just sanitized it. it just came from delivery, so uh, the, the pandemic here in Malaysia is still quite bad. So, whatever package, uh, I'll be sanitizing it. So, this is from AliExpress, all the way from China. Okay, no, don't get me wrong, I'm not racist. Uh, I sanitize whatever packages that come from China, Malaysia, or wherever around the world. I'm Chinese, by the way, so yeah, I'm, I'm not racist against my own race. Okay, good packaging there. Wow, lots of protection. Nice case there from Baleni. So, this is one of those uh, AliExpress brands, uh, like a homage brand like Panis, Heimdall, uh, whatever, I don't know how to pronounce that. So Balani is one of those uh, not as popular known as uh, San Martin, San Martin, whatever. So because this is Wired Lux, it comes with its own screwdriver and in the little paper I believe it's spare screws that comes along for the Wired Lux. Nice, it comes with a, a cleaning cloth, pretty cool, good quality cleaning cloth, nicely protected case uh, it's quite a nice solid fabric case we have for the watch okay so it comes with leather straps uh, nicely sealed packaged quite a good heft to it um, feels solid from from feedbacks and review uh, they seem to have great reputation great quality for the value you get so thought of trying it out oh. Okay, so out of the package, the strap feels nice and soft, but uh, I don't think this is genuine leather. It smells really, smells like PVC plastic, so the, the feel of it is kind of cardboard. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not expecting a great strap for this price point, but the quality of the watch itself, it's really good. Now, I know it's annoying me saying, but uh, the YouTube studio statistics shows that 90% of my viewers are not subscribed. So. If you do like watching my content, uh, please click on the subscribe button here throughout the video on my little logo there. Yeah, because subscribing helps a great deal and it doesn't cost you a single thing. So if you would like to keep my channel running and filled with the same content I've been doing, please do consider subscribing and that will help a great deal. Thank you. I'm sure you have noticed by now that this is an homage of the Panerai Radiomir California Dow. So one of the reasons of uh, getting this was, well besides obviously the price, was the movement, the design of the overall watch and the Dow. History lesson on the California Dow, uh, there's a lot of uh, various theories out there of its origin. So basically California Dow is a half Dow design which consists of half Arabic numerals and half Roman numerals. So according to omologatowatches.com, um, this came about from a guy named James Dowling. When the vintage uh, boom in the 1970s started in Los Angeles, uh, as a watch refurbisher named Kurt Rich created some half design dials uh, and this design became very popular for the vintage collectors in the watch stores in California and uh, so through this link uh, it sort of came up with the name California Dial. So many brands at that time adopted this design including Panerai and Rolex. So no surprise there, you see this carried out in many of Panerai's new design. So traditionally this was fitted with 47mm Rolex oyster case and it was used with a Rolex pocket watch movement but uh, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong and if you know better in the comments below uh, from my half ass research so before we proceed further I just want to change out the straps for this uh, looks much better with that black sailcloth strap that I just got looks great sorry guys I'm just that interesting I love black grey uh, all my watches are black and grey and white so someday I plan to collect all 50 shades of grey watches So the brand of this watch is Baltani, I got it from Aliexpress uh, I just want to mention that I'm in no way sponsored for any of my videos I only have 200 over subscribers at this moment and I don't think anyone wants to sponsor me So I paid full price for this watch, I had a good chat with the seller called Joey or 
yeah, I think it's Joey from uh, Octopus Kraken. Yeah, badass name there. The salesperson was great and uh, had very fast response regarding all my questions. So they assured that this uh, seagull movement is oiled and calibrated. So it, it runs great, plus five to ten seconds a day, which is awesome for this seagull movement. Now you notice that the dial is a sterile dial. There's no logo text or whatsoever on it, but they do custom logos on the dial if you would like to uh, for a little bit of premium and you can get it done uh, but uh, I think everyone knows that for California dial it's best to have it not cluttered uh, even better without that second hand powering the watch is a Seagull ST3600 so this is a ETA clone movement is a Chinese ETA clone movement which is based off the UNITAS but I think ETA bought over UNITAS and upgraded their movement and before that they were using 18 beats now ETA upgraded it to 21 beats so uh, you can see the similarities from from all the other vintage watches and uh, pocket watches so the entire case is highly polished mirror polished so and both sides uh, the see-through case back and the display crystal is using sapphire crystal and can tell I don't have a diamond uh, detector but I can tell because uh, sapphire crystal tends to be much colder so I compare it with the temperature of all my other sapphire crystal watches with plexiglass and mineral glass and uh, it does feel legit sapphire crystal uh, quite a thick one on that as well and the description says that it has anti-reflective coating but it still seems quite reflective especially against that matte black dial so the size of this case is a 44 mm diameter across 24 mm lug width and lug to lug about 50 cm 12.8 mm thickness it has a screw down crown, uh, I don't know about the water resistance but uh, I think it's best not to get it anywhere near water. The weight that on this piece with the supplied leather strap is about 100 grams. And the loom on this dial is pretty good, uh, as you can see in the loom test at the end of this video. Now the design concept of the radio mirror actually came about from a pocket watch. As you can see the entire watch is basically a pocket watch with two holes drilled on each side and wires attached to form lugs and attach the strap to the pocket watch turning it into a wristwatch now there's a whole bunch of videos and articles out there about the Panerai Radio Mirror, how it came about so I'm not going to go too into detail about this and I don't want to repeat what others have already shown in their videos this movement actually comes with a small seconds hand at the 9 o'clock position as you can see there on the top left corner but it's not shown in this style uh, to keep that keep it true to that original inverted comma original look but in the case back you can see how much it resembles a pocket watch uh, from down to the unitas to the eta and to the classic vintage pocket watches which is quite cool Now the hands for this piece is heat treated blue, it matches beautifully with that sandwich dial. Now you can see the layer and depth of the dial, uh, why they call it a sandwich. It's done by having a bottom layer of loom and another layer on top with the cutouts for the numerals, creating a lot of depth for the watch. Uh, I don't think Panerai has uh, a sandwich California dial for their raw email. Do correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think all of theirs is just sausage loom. Um, Another feature about this that sets it apart from the Panerai is the size. Well, most Panerai Radio Mio California is at a 47mm. This is just 44mm, so great for most wrists out there below 7 inches. Now, aside from the design of the case of the watch, you can see similarities with Panerai in the movement as well, as they are both using an ETA or somewhat ETA based movement. As you can see here in this comparison, they look almost identical with each other. Panerai's movement is based on the ETA 6947 but heavily modified at the swan neck, which has 
uh, about 56 hours of power reserve, 17 joules, which is actually the same as the Seagull clone of the ETA 6497, which also has 17 joules and 56 hour power reserve. Uh, I've tested it and it does uh, live up to the 65 hour power reserve for this particular piece. Well, despite the reflection from the glass and the dial, the outdoor legibility is still pretty good uh, under the sunlight. You can see everything is nice and clear. And that dome sapphire crystal juts out just enough to look good. You can see the thick amount of sapphire crystal applied there. It's beautiful. Overall, great quality watch. Now with such a build quality of a watch, costing at about 140 USD, oh no, sorry, 145 USD, um, makes me wonder, is it worth paying that much more for Panerai? This is only 2.3% the price of a 6000 Panerai Rodimure. I don't know, food for thought there. <laughs> for loom shot. Loom on this thing is pretty good. It lasts about 30 minutes. Uh, you can see here in the video it goes on and on and there's still a faint, uh, the video can't capture it but there's still a faint hint of loom uh, throughout the night so you can actually use this as a bedside clock and still shines bright in pure darkness. <laughs> Alright, you guys know what time it is of the video. Sexy time. big thank you if you are still staying around at this part of the video. Do click the subscribe button if you like my style of video and stay tuned next for some strap changing videos. Cheers!